seven to ten days ago, my husband had come up to me and said that he wanted to try the One Punch Man challenge, which I knew nothing about. I know what One Punch Man is. It's an anime, but I didn't know what the challenge was or the workout or whatever he was talking about. After explaining to me uh, what it was, I thought it was actually kind of interesting. So we are doing it. The One Punch Man Challenge is a fitness or workout routine that was coined by the anime One Punch Man, where the main character has superhuman strength because he does the same workout every day. That workout is 100 sit-ups, 100 push-ups, 100 squats, and a 10-kilometer run. Now, we're not crazy, and we know that starting right off the bat with 100 of each in a 10-kilometer run, we'd probably be even in the neighbor's yard. Um, <laughs> lost. <laughs> so, we are going to stretch it out over 100 days. And each week we are going to increase the difficulty by 10%. So week one, which is where we are right now, we're starting with 10 push-ups, 10 squats, 10 sit-ups, and a one kilometer run. And each week, like I said, we're going to increase. Now, if for whatever reason we can't, or, well, not can't, but we're not feeling confident about it or we're feeling really tired or sluggish, then we'll hold off increasing whatever that one is. My guess is, for me personally, it's going to be the run, uh, but I'm trying to be open-minded mind, open -minded about this and, and looking forward. The reason why he brought this to me initially was because he wanted to increase his cardio and his fitness, which I 100% totally agree I need to do too uh, from working from home during the entire pandemic and now streaming on Twitch and on YouTube I sit way too much and I do work out twice a week with a trainer uh, virtually but I'm not doing enough outside of those two workouts and I know she would slap my hand for that because I recently asked her for more to do so this is kind of putting being put in place uh, I will say that this workout regime might not be for you. Uh, it's definitely not for everybody, and that's absolutely okay. Uh, I have talked to my trainer about this, and she is aware, and I've kind of gotten a, like a, a nod, that this is something that I can do. Uh, but I would highly recommend if you're looking at doing a fitness challenge or a workout challenge that you've seen on YouTube or Instagram or TikTok for that matter, talk to a professional, your doctor, a fitness professional, whether it's something that you can do. And everybody can do something, uh, but and sometimes people get hurt and I don't want to see anybody get hurt. So I'm not a doctor or a fitness trainer or anything like that. So what we're doing is what we're doing. This is our personal documentation. Uh, you're welcome to join, but do remember to check with a professional just to make sure that it's okay for you and your body. When my husband mentioned to me about this challenge, I did some research about it on my own. I wanted to see what others had experienced, how it worked for them. And the first thing I really noticed was it was a challenge that was predominantly documented by males. Uh, and of course, you know, a lot of challenges like this, maybe women wouldn't want to necessarily document. I don't know. Um, but I did only find through my searches, maybe like two or three uh, YouTubers who have done something like this uh, and, and track their journey. Uh, so I'm hoping to kind of make it a little bit more common, show that it's not so terrible. And you don't have to start off with a hundred of everything in a 10 kilometer run. You can break it down into things that are more manageable. You might be saying, uh, but Haley, how are you going to get all of that done? Isn't it going to take you a lot of time? Well, uh, anything that's worth doing does take time, <laughs> does take effort. Uh, but we have talked about it and agreed that we will break it up over the day. So... I make it to that 100, 100, 110. Praise the day that that happens. <laughs> I will be so happy. Um, 
it it's possible that we might have to break it up into like two five kilometer runs just depending on what the timing is for that day or do the run in the morning and the rest of the workout in the afternoon basically as long as i have accomplished the items in a 24 hour window basically well not even 24 hours from when i wake up to when i go to bed as long as i've completed it then that day is checked off let's see how i did today Looking like I'm gonna have to get some information about running with like slippery sidewalks because like every spot I've come across to do the walking portion of this because I'm not running full bore is ice. Whew. As I mentioned on the run, it was icy, so I'm gonna definitely have to look into that. Um, might have to try layering a little bit more. It was cold at the beginning. My shins are burning. But other than the ice and it being March, it was fine. Tomorrow I think I might hurt. So see you guys tomorrow. Let's see how Alex did today. And I'm back. One kilometer down. Whew. It's still zero degrees. Still kind of cold, but not too bad. Sweater was enough. I guess first day of a 100 day challenge is done. The ramp up is going to be harder, but so far, seems doable. Now I'm going to go take a shower and back to regular schedule programming of making coffee. Feeding the fish, where you fed the cats, and going going to work. All right, see ya. Thanks again for tuning into this video, our day one of the One Punch Man challenge. Uh, as I mentioned in the beginning, it is a hundred days that we're working towards. So there's about ninety nine more videos like this coming up. Uh, if you're interested to see what's going on, if you want to be part of the community of people who are participating in this. Uh, do check out the links in the description below. There is a link to my Discord channel. And if you do want to have a more regular conversation, um, you can bring this up to me while I am streaming. I do stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern, both on Twitch and here on YouTube. Uh, links for that are also in the description below. But I better go get some more stretching done and lay out my clothes because tomorrow it's supposed to be freezing cold.